Hey team, Chef Eric Gephardt here at Kamada Joe. Today I'm hanging out with my good friends here at ATBBQ.com and we're going to analyze some of the parts of the Kamada Joe that make it such a fun grill to cook on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the divide and conquer system. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kamada Joe 3 series and I want you to see the divide and conquer system. This is this system that sits right on top of the fire ring and it's got three different levels. Think of this as gamifying dinner, right? You're able to drop the grill grates really close to the fuel source and get a big bold sear or come on up and be a little bit further away. Now because these are half moons, perhaps we go really close on one side and really far away from the heat on the other, giving us maximum versatility. Kamada Joe is constantly coming out with new accessories in this half moon shape to give you different searing surfaces and a completely different cooking experience. This is the Kamada Joe Soapstone. It's a great habit when using the Kamada Joe Soapstone to support it right on top of a grill grate. That way if you're putting pressure on that soapstone, let's say you're doing smash burgers, you're not putting excess pressure on the actual stone itself. Now things I like to do with this soapstone, we just mentioned uh, smash burgers, but it's for big, bold, blistering sears. If you were to put this under a microscope, you'd see it's completely non-porous, so it's 100% connectivity, radiates heat very well, big bold sears, thin cutlets, uh, reverse sears, a great finishing stone. Scallops are a blast on this piece. One of my other favorite accessories is the Kamada Joe cast iron griddle. Notice how with this half moon setup in the divide and conquer system, I'm able to put this right beside that soapstone and have two completely different accessories, different cooking experiences on the same grill surface at the same time. And remember, I could go one lower, one higher, depending on what my needs were. You never get bored with this. It's just constant innovation from Kamada Joe. And we release accessories like waves hitting the beach, one after another. Uh, one thing I like about this cast iron, we talked about the soapstone being flat and non-porous. This cast iron under a microscope has peaks and valleys. So just like your grandmother's cast iron, uh, you're going to treat this a little bit lower temperature. You can use this for a lower temperature searing. Now this cast iron griddle is a two for one. We've got the griddle side here, great for breakfast, uh, a lot of fun doing eggs, uh, a lot of fun searing things that are going to take a little bit longer to sear than you would do on the soapstone. But on the other side, notice that you've got a riveted side. So a complete different sear signature and you're able to get those great cast iron uh, grill marks. Again, two of my favorite accessories, but just two options uh, from the lineup of Kamada Joe that fit into your divide and conquer system. Each Kamada Joe comes with two half moon deflector shields. Essentially, you use these to turn this grill into an oven or an indirect cooking machine. However, you can leave half in and half out, giving you the accessibility to have two different heat signatures on the same grill surface. Perhaps today we're setting this grill grate direct right on top of the flame, and then indirect, we can set a grill grate at the very top. Imagine cooking burgers, getting a big bold sear, and then flipping indirect, finishing, melting the cheese. Again, just another accessory Kamada Joe brings to the market to make it more fun and easy to cook at home. Included with the three series is the fire basket. On the one series and two series, you'll have a fire grate in the bottom. The basket gives you extra airflow. Uh, we'll talk further about that in other videos, but notice how the divide and conquer system spins right into the basket, locking it in so you can bring this whole piece out. Another feature that comes with all three series and is retrofitable into the two series is the slow roller or hyperbolic insert. And you'll notice your divide and conquer system will sit right on top of that. Now you'll use this for indirect cooks. Notice that you shouldn't be cooking over 500 degrees Fahrenheit with this. This is for low and slow cooking uh, in partnership with Harvard University. It creates cyclonic airflow, giving you 20% more smoke adherent and evens out temperature deltas. Notice we put our grill grates right on top of the highest setting of our divide and conquer system, creating optimal smoke adherent for those great low and slow cooks, possibly a brisket, short ribs, pork butt, you name it. 
The Commodity Joe divide and conquer system is what turns the Commodity Joe into an interactive experience. Being able to interact with the flame, using your cook's intuition, lowering the level of cooking, raising it up, making it indirect, using that soapstone, the cast iron griddle, the cast iron grill grate, perhaps taking it out all together, using the Joe Tisserie or even the Dojo for pizzas. Uh, it's all about interacting with the flame and having fun with it. That's what draws me back to this grill more so than any other grill because I'm part of the experience. As we mentioned before, Kamada Joe is gonna to continue to release really fun accessories that fit into that divide and conquer system, making the Kamada Joe the ultimate cooking experience. Thanks for hanging out with us today, just talking about some of these tips and techniques with the divide and conquer system. Look forward to more KJ101 videos coming to you at atbbq.com. From me to you, don't forget, delicious doesn't have to be difficult.